you are watching a 123sonography.com video. We provide innovative teaching materials on echocardiography. Please visit us at www.123sonography.com to see more. So here you can see the typical features of pulmonic hypertension. The first thing we recognize in the peristone long axis view is that the left ventricle is dilated, severely dilated. And we also see that the septum has an abnormal position. It's a concave in this region, which does denote that there seems to be some degree of pressure difference between the right ventricle and the left ventricle. If we look at the pulmonic artery, we see that the pulmonic artery is massively dilated especially when you compare it here to the aorta but it's not only the pulmonic artery itself but it's also the branches the right pulmonary artery and the left pulmonary artery if we go to the apical views four chamber view we see a dilated right ventricle especially when you compare it to the left ventricle, and we also have right ventricular hypertrophy here. And let's now also assess the short axis, parasternal short axis view. Again, we see a very small left ventricle, large right ventricle, right ventricular hypertrophy, and look at the position of the septum. The ventricle is not round, but there is flattening of the interventricular septum which is most prominent in systole, but also is present in diastole. 